Oh, little grandma. Hey everyone. So today we have little Lilo. She always makes this noise, don't worry. Um, we have a really big it's sort of a summer haul and it's sort of like what I've been getting in lockdown. Obviously, if you've been keeping up with my Boohoo hauls, you would have seen the stuff that I've got from them. But this is basically everything else, things I've been gifted, things I've bought myself, um, things I've won. Mm -hmm. Lilo, look up. Lilo. She's nine, but she looks like a little puppy dog. And she's got her teeth taken out of this side of her mouth, so her tongue always sticks out pretty down. But I am trying to cut down on fast fashion. Um, I am buying things less and only buying things if I really, really want it or need it. Um, I know a lot of this is still with brands that are fast fashion, and obviously I still work with Boohoo, but it is a conscious thing in my mind. I am thinking of ways that I can help in lots of different ways as well, so yeah. So first up, I'll show you my splurge, which I'm obsessed with. So I got these on Depop. These are technically secondhand. She'd only wore them once. And I'm pretty sure that they're made out of vegan materials, but I'm not 100% sure. They're definitely not leather on the outside, um, but I'm not sure if there's anything else within it that makes it not 100% vegan. But got some Jordans. If you had like, watched my boohoo, last Boohoo haul, I did mention them, but right, here they are, the absolute beauties. These are the Jordans um, Spruce Aura Mid. So you can get these still on Depop or like StockX and like reseller website. So I was stuck between getting these and the Smoke Grey, but I don't know, I think we just decided on these because if you don't know already from my Instagram and YouTube, I'm obsessed with the colour sage, so that's sort of the sage colour and the white. The smoke greys are the ones that I think they've come out more recently because they're sort of like the cheaper versions of the Air Dior's, which I want so, so bad. I'm only buying the secondhand ones because then, I don't know, I feel better for the environment. But yeah, these are my absolute babies. I haven't worn them yet because I'm trying to find like a crap protect or something that I can put on them before I wear them. Like, like I said, they've been worn once, so they're pretty much brand new though. Um, but yeah, they're my first one. Protective substance. So if anyone knows anything, please let me know down below. Like I said, it's not leather. I'm pretty sure it's either a canvas or a nylon upper. And I think you can use crap protect on that. Because if you didn't know, you shouldn't use your crap protect on leather. I mean, they probably do a leather one, but the normal one you apparently shouldn't and I saw this video of someone doing it on their Jordans and it kind of like ruined them. Next I'll go on to the thing that I actually won. This is from a little Instagram brand called Chloe Couture and me and my best mate Poppy we like entered the giveaway and we won. So it's this little teddy bear co-ord and um, you get to pick what colours you wanted and obviously if you go on and you wanted to buy one you can pick different colours. So I picked grey Poppy's got the white. It just looks like this little tank top. And these are the little shorts, which have pockets. Hello, my hand in a pocket. But yeah, they're so cute and they're so cute for like lounging in. She's even got like little labels. There's the Chloe, C-L-O-I-E, and then Couture. I'll tag them down below. But honestly, it's so comfy. And they've got so many like amazing other bits not just like the teddy bear sets on her instagram page and her website so definitely check her out it's always good to support smaller brands another smaller brand i got gifted this from one of my best mates evie um evps on instagram she made me this little tie-dye top she does a lot of um like tie-dye selling on her depot page so i'll link that down below light blue and dark blue sort of tie-dye mixed top. I've actually got blue joggers in this colour so they look so good together and it's so good for summer and just lounging about. It's so cute and perfect colour blue. I'm obsessed with light blue at the moment. Next is Slashinger. So like I said in one of my videos I think 
I jumped on the trend of the slatting just courts. Um, I actually have another one, I have a grey one, but I couldn't be bothered to find it. So I've just got the black and the white here. I actually got mine in a size 12, and my grey is a size 8, which is like the perfect fit, but literally they sold out so quick, so I had to get whatever size I could. Um, they still fit, they are a bit looser, but you could just do like a simple stitch down the side and it would just like it all together. So here's the black one. Obviously, it's a skirt, so you've got the shorts underneath, so I can get to them. And there's a little tennis ball pocket. <laughs> That's so cool. Hide my snacks up there. I wore this with a little tank top, which had like some dragon print on or something. But um, I was thinking of getting like a little black cardigan, like a type cardigan. Mika Francis, Mika Briney, Wild Days, if you know her. I'll pop her picture up. She's wearing like a little black skirt, skirt thing and a little black cardigan and it looks so good. It's the same in white with the black size and the logo. Um, I wore this with my baby blue feeler sweatshirt. I'll pop a picture here. Um, this isn't a try and haul because quite frankly, I can't be bothered. It's too hot and I'm too tired. And I don't know if any of you guys believe in this stuff, but Mercury is actually in retrograde still. Um, it's the 1st of July today. And it just knackers me out the whole time when it's in retrograde. Like, I can't sleep well. I never have any energy. And I just, I think my mood's just so much worse when it's in retrograde. But that's the same as like a lot of people. Like, that's one of the things that happens when Mercury's in retrograde. So Google that if you guys want to. A lot of people are selling these on Depop. Yes, for a lot more than what they bought them for. I think I got mine for five or six pound each because they were two for 11 pound and then it had like a 20% offer on but then the postage was like five quid which is really annoying because I think that's quite expensive for postage it's because they give you those blooming massive sports direct mugs and that's probably where all the five pounds for delivery go isn't that right Lil just nodding my head next I'll go for ASOS I actually bought this one ages ago like near the start of lockdown and it's literally me in a bodysuit, like racer back, gray, white tie dye, sort of looks like clouds, which everyone knows I'm obsessed with cloud stuff. And yeah, so I wore this with just some normal gray, like heather gray joggers for like a cozy look. Um, you can wear it with shorts, runner shorts, one of the skorts, you can literally wear it with everything. I'm not sure if this is still online, but if it is, I'll tag it. Um, but always look on Depop for stuff like this. Um, I'm not selling mine, otherwise I would let you guys know. And then, like I said in my last Boohoo video, I'm moving to Bali, and my vision is to be wearing bikinis and sh with like shirts over the top all the time. So I'm getting into like loads of like plain shirts, also like really groovy shirts. Like if I was going to buy for this year, I would definitely be wearing this to an event, but I'm not. It has opened, but it's just not going to be the same. And I'm hoping that by the time I'd go to Ibiza, hopefully Indonesia will open their borders, but I'm not sure. We'll manifest it. But I had been eyeing up this collusion shirt for quite a while. I kept sending it to my friend and be like, do I buy it? Do I buy it? And she's like, yeah, just get it. But luckily there was that 20 or 25% off student weekend. So I thought I'd get it there but it wasn't in the size that I had it saved. I had it saved in medium or large, and I kind of like it to be proper oversized, but this is a small, and it is pretty big, like it's perfect. So everything happens for a reason, guys. I don't even know what it says, but it's like this wavy font text. Like I thought this with just like a black or a white bikini, or even with like a neon, or like a lilac, or a lemon yellow. Oh my God, that would look so nice with a lemon yellow bikini, wouldn't it? But me just like riding on my little scoopy, which is like the little mopeds that they have over there. Going to pick up my smoothie bowl and help at a little dog sanctuary. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like I said, when I got it, it had sold out in a lot of sizes. So I'm not sure if it's still online, but I will tag it if not. And also check on Depop, see if anyone's selling it. Also on ASOS, I got this little bandana. See that like, I went through a stage of like wanting to buy loads of bandanas and then because we've been in lockdown and not doing anything, I've not actually had an excuse to wear them, apart from in pictures. I just thought it was so cute. It looked like a little mirror. Oh my God, should I put it on Lilo? Is she gonna hate me? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful little grandma. 
Yeah, she's the noisiest dog ever. She constantly snorts. And no, it's not a breathing issue with the pugs. So before any of you come at her in the comments, Lily Puds, that was her name before we rescued her, then we changed it to Lila. She looks like Stitch, doesn't she? Her name's Lila, but she looks like Stitch. Where am I going with this? Oh, this bandana. Yeah, I thought it was so cute. I did sort of buy it, hoping it would be like bigger to wear as a top. That is definitely a no, that would absolutely cover nothing. No, that would literally be dramatic. Also from ASOS are these. They are actually from Pimpkey. I think they were £21 online and then I got the 25% off. Um, I just, I've wanted a pair of like flat form black sliders for ages. I think I had one last year. They had like buckles across and they weren't exactly the comfiest. Because with things like this, I had some really nice like raffia ones from Boohoo last year. And if you guys have ever been to Gilly T, you'll know that they're not proper roads. Like they're all bumpy and everything. I think I must have broke my ankle about 17 times in one night, like just the walk to the restaurant. So um, I'm always really careful with these now. So they're not actually that thick, but they are kind of like, that's not really grippy at all. They're actually square toe. I didn't know that when I bought them online, but I do really like square toes, so that's fine. They're a faux leather sort of feel. They're really snug, like they're perfect. But yeah, these are super cute. There's so many like flat form black sliders online and on ASOS, but these are the ones that I decided to get. I think they were like the cheapest ones as well and the smallest. Next, we'll go to Bershka. So I've got one accessory from Bershka and it's these 90s style rimless sunglasses. They've got like a little diamond, diamante heart on them. I think they're so cool. Online they look a lot more brown, they're like fade, they are brown, but they sort of look more grey brown in here, like, and then they've just got the silver things. Well, these look so cute for certain outfits, like futuristic kind of outfits or 90s Y2K sort of outfits. £10 I think. The thing with first because you don't get discount, but it is free delivery. I know, maybe that's because I literally ordered like £150 worth of stuff. Bank balance left the chat, literally. Next is a bikini. I don't think I'm keeping this because it's a medium and it's still too small. I can't decide with bikinis. One time I literally can fit in an eight and the next I have to have like a 14. So it is like bikini off my dreams. Like the perfect cut so that you're supported but also it's not too much coverage so you can get tan. Um, adjustable straps, lilac, which is my dream and gingham. I think gingham is a print that you can wear every single year. It never really goes out of fashion. It was, it was around £30 for this bikini, which to be fair, is like one of the splurgest bikinis I've ever had. And for it to not fit exactly like I want, like I am gonna send this one back. It is gorgeous and the bottom has such a nice cut to it. So it's actually got a seam down the middle, which I do think is really flattering and kind of thin on the sides, which is great. It is a comfy material, but it is quite a crinkly gingham. So I think it is kind of a little bit itchy. It's kind of a blessing in disguise that they don't fit great because like I said, it was a spenny order. So it's good that I'm sending some of this back. I thought I'd just show you guys first before I send it back. So you guys know what I have been interested in. Next are these Bershka plush shorts. So these have been, I've seen them a lot on Instagram. Lee Woods, if you follow her, she put them up on her story. They've done it in lilac, sage, black, and now this nudie colour. And I don't know, they look really nice online. Like, I just want a pair of shorts that I know will fit me right, will go with everything, and literally just chuck them on. But these, just, they just don't look right. Like, I'm sorry I'm not doing a try on all, but like I said, I can't be bothered. Um, I did get a medium. Like I said, I would probably have rather have got a large, but that's the, like, the largest size. Like, and I'm not saying that I'm large or not large or whatever, but I'm usually an eight to 10. And if I have to go into a size large, that's really not very inclusive, I don't think. Is that the right word? Yeah, like the range of sizes is really short. That's what I feel like sometimes. Like it sounds like that would fit a lot in, but I'm usually like a small to medium. So if I'm gonna have to go to the highest bracket, then that's like a really short range for a lot of people. Thank you for coming to my TED talk, that was a long one. But it has got pockets. I really like the seam details down the front. It'll be great for summer. And they've got two pockets on the back. And this little neon sign that says always. These were like 
I want to say like 10 to 15 pounds I can't really remember but I know a lot of people are raving about them just personally I'm not really that big of a fan um I am on the hunt for like the perfect runner short just so I can chuck them on but I could just bite the bullet and get some Adidas ones but I don't want to splurge this is incredible so you might have seen a lot of people wearing these tennis skirts not skirts this time um, and I got the blue one this was 20 pound and um, they do it in white which I wish I got the white as well but you can get like cheap ones of Amazon so I don't really mind um black and I think they also did like a plaid sort of print as well but I've one in size small this is what I mean I mean it is a tiny bit tight but that is probably after I've Grace Beverly put on her Instagram story the quarantine curves and I think that's like the great thing so I have put on some quarantine curves um so like they're not bad I'm I'm comfortable in it but it's like I'm a bit worried if I pop the button off this is what I mean like I can fit perfectly in a small in this and then I need a size large at least in the bottoms in the bikini so that's what you have to think of with Bershka lovely tennis score in this cornflower blue colour with this little badge the only weird thing is it says autumn winter 19 on the badge so they must have just been like reusing the badges that they made for last season i wore this with a little white tank top right of the neck tank top and over my shoulders like my baby blue feeler sweatshirt you can wear this with like little cardigans you can wear it with a sweatshirt they also sold this on asos so um i was gonna buy this separately because you can obviously get discount on asos and you can't always get discount on bershka next we have another skort and this is so cute but yet again the tiniest bit small and the zip is really not great it's such a hard zip i literally can't get it past that thing i don't want to break it because i am sending this one back uh what size did i get this in so this was on a 10 and it's still a little bit too small so it would have gone for a 12 it's just like i think bershka is very odd with their sizes it's short to the back it's very like school skirt kind of vibe at the front with the hoop by the d-ring details on either side but it's in this blue color again like i said i'm loving baby blue and i just think that it's just so so nice i wore this yet again with just like a white razor back crop top um it was in a photo <laughs> yeah i did take a photo and i'm sending it back but don't tell Birchka. Like, even if they don't fit properly, I'll take a picture of them and then send it back. Which is kind of bad, but I know a lot of bloggers do it, so it's fine. So it's this cream denim with contrast stitching cargo mini skirt with like a big chunk about the cargo pockets with the D-ring details again. And this sort of like paper bag kind of waist. It has got a little bit of an elastic at the back. It's not usually my vibe, but I just kind of liked it. And then I tried it on and it's too small. Yet again. I wonder what size I got this one in. Size 10 again, it could have done with a 12 in this. Um, I also took a picture of this, so I'll put that here. The pockets aren't like under here, they're on like there. I think it's kind of cool, you could just like, if you're wearing it out and about, you just need to like slip your phone in and out or like a card or something. But this I think was about 20 pound again. Next is Zara. So it's this long midi white racer back dress. This was 10 pound, like 9.99. It's a lot longer than I thought, but I could always cut it. I got mine in size small. It's like a really nice thick material. You can't really see my hand through it. I'd wear this with a lot of gold jewelry, maybe some like natural kind of sandals, like raffia or something. Or you could grunge it up with like massive chunky boot Jordans. Next is this nasty girl suit. So I've got a picture in it here. Um, I was obsessed with that photo and my Instagram engagement really let me down but here it is so it this is in a size 10 yeah and the bottoms are now too big so i mean i just i literally just can't like one minute i'm at eight one minute at ten sometimes it can even be a six next minute i'm a 14 like it literally just depends on the clothes but it's these wide leg trouser um in this nova check print which is basically like the burberry print I didn't actually know, but it's in quite this like silky sort of what do you call it chiffony material. It's very loose and lightweight. But this I wore together with a white race back crop top. Sound like a broken record, but they go with everything. And then for the top, 
is this in a shirt but i got this it was in a size 10 as well but it is like a really big oversized and i wanted it to be oversized so i could wear it open with the bottoms like you would have seen in the picture also so that i can wear it by like itself with the dress or open with shorts winter with like some leather leggings you can bunch it up and wear it with some mum jeans like this print will never go out of fashion purely because it's a dupe off the burberry but it's got two front pockets obviously the buttons and this like curved hem on the side it's not longer at the back it's the exact same but i love this set it was like 35 or something for the set i think obviously nasty gal always has that 50 percent off discount you know what right i've not really voiced this before and sorry if i ever get a collab with nasty gal i'm not trying to put you down but it's like oh my it gets all their bloggers and like youtubers to be like oh my god i can't believe it's a 50 percent discount or like 55 percent or even sometimes 60 which sounds incredible, but they always have it on. It's the same as I saw it first, and I think my dog just farted. Yeah, so it's not actually that great of a saving because that's basically they're just doing it, but it's actually their normal prices. But I mean, saves us money. Next is some things I've been sent from Lily Lulu Fashion. So first is this ruched. It's got like a not in the back to make it more tight <laughs> top tip ruched sage knitted green dress obviously with the side ruching and you actually get four strings on each side which i thought was kind of different and nice they do this in so many colors i've just seen a baby blue one on their website i'm debating whether to get it but this is only in one size so it is kind of a bit like loose that's why i had to tie it up a little bit I mean, it looks like a nice loose sort of fitting, but with a ruched dress, I think they're so, so flattering because you can like, like cinch it in when you want. But when it's just like one size, it's not as flattering, but it is still such a lovely dress. Um, it's a really good knit, like it's a really thin, nice knit so you can wear it for summer and everything. So that's the first one and I'll pop a picture of me wearing it. Next is this vest top from Lily Lulu. This is a little bit risque for me. As you can see, it kind of like a bit revealing. Um, and it's hard to find a bra to wear with this. And like I always say, I'm not really a free the neck kind of gal. So it's got these lovely lace straps, um, really, really cute. And then this nice cup detailing with the cut out here. And at the back, it's just normal. But yeah, the only thing with this is, I think I should have got a size up if I wanted to feel more careful in it. It's really hard to wear a bra in it which doesn't show. Um, I had to just wear like a normal t-shirt bra in the end. Nipple covers or like the petals or pasties or whatever you call it. I wore it with like a little ditzy floor skirt so I'll post a picture of it here but I saw someone wear it on Pinterest with some dad jeans oh my god it looks so nice like, next is tk maxx so this was my first venture out into the shops when we were allowed to go for non-essential shopping and i was like i'm not gonna buy anything like i don't want anything from tk maxx 45 pound later yeah first up is this bikini it's a reebok sports bikini it's actually in a size large but it fits well because obviously it's high side um apart from the bum is a bit big but that's fine and here is the top so it's this very like sports vibe contrast like thing with a Reebok sign there um but yeah I just thought it was really nice it was actually 12 99 for the set it's usually meant to be like 25 I have actually seen people sell this in Depop for 25 to 30 quid so if I ever get bored of it I know where to put it got lining in the cup staying on the baby blue trend is this huge dkny scarf it's very gucci vibes because it's got the monogram and the dashes and whatever and i was sort of thinking oh this could be a bandana but also the top and a sarong but it is pretty long to be fair i was gonna cut it but i'm kind of a bit like worried if i don't actually want to which is only like 10 quid and then i also got this dress right so let me tell you the price four pound that's why i bought it because i was like i've caught my eye because i'm really into this like 
peachy sort of orange tangerine color and it's really see-through like mesh so it would have to you'd have to wear like a little dress underneath um or a bikini or something but it's this long maxi dress it's in a size medium it's actually from the brand never fully dressed kind of like a pricier brand but then i got it for four quid it's sort of like a tie-dye sort of florally looking design but i just think it's so nice like i might even shorten it to just make it like a little chuck on dress i'm obsessed with dr pawpaw and i had like they had the huge 100 mil bottles for four pound each so i bought two of them next is shein shein i call it shein but i don't know and um, you would have seen these on my instagram if you follow me so here's the picture that i posted in this one it's this amazing it's not really sage to be fair, it is more like an olive green or just standard green. And it's got these huge sleeves. Kind of an impractical top, but that's what we like on the gram, isn't it? But it's actually this really good um, material. It's kind of thick and crinkly. And basically I bought this because I thought with just some like bikini bottoms, if you're going out, say to like ocean beach nikki beach potato head or something and you're not actually going to be going in the pool but you want to like look like you're dressed nicely in a swimsuit sort of thing i really love having these bardo big sleeve frilly tops with just some simple bikini bottoms i just think it's really effective so that's basically why i bought it because i thought it was just so cute i put it on the wrong way around at the start so the back is thinner than the top it was a major under boob moment but then I turned it around and then that's meant to be the bit where your boobs go, so that made a lot more sense. But yeah, it's gorgeous. I wore it with some denim jeans in the picture. Like I said, I did get it to wear with bikini bottoms. Then next I got this dress. So I saw someone get this in their Shein haul. Um, and so I was like, I need to have that. And it's this gorgeous like watercolour blue and green sort of dress with big puffy sleeves that go out and they're just so amazing and then ruching at the front with little frills at the bottom like it's like the perfect little like mermaidy dream dress but unfortunately i don't know if it's just me if i'm not very narrow with the top of my body but it does not stay up like this bit's just so wide no to be fair it does look wide doesn't it so I can't wear it on the shoulder, which to be fair, I wouldn't really want to because when I put it on my shoulders, I'm not really a big fan of like puff sleeves. I mean, I am, but the way that it looked, like I'm not a fan of like shoulder pads. I did wear it off the shoulder and that perfectly works. Um, you might just have to get some tape across the top to like stick it onto you. These you can actually ruche yourself, which is amazing. Next is like misguided stuff. First up with these little MSG shorts. Um, these were sold out when I started to get them. I had to wait for them to come back in stock. So I don't know if they're still online, but it's these little sage green booty shorts. They're great to chuck on underneath like a big t-shirt if you want a little bit like of safety coverage. If you want to wear it with, yet again, a white razor back crop top. I also wore it with, in my last haul and on one of my previous um, Instagram pictures with a, with a yellow cardigan. It looks so nice, like a lemon and sage. It was a lemon and lime moment. Did you know there's no lime emoji? And the next I got the exact same in this pink, lilac -y pink sort of colour with the matching top. I don't think the top's very flattering at all. Um, I got it in size 10, that's maybe why it should have gone in eight. But I bought these off someone on Instagram, she was just selling it on their stories. If you don't have Depop or Vinted, I do actually have a selling Depop page. It's called the Claude Abroad Closet. So I'll put it here and I'll link it in the bio so you guys can go and check out. But I think I might actually sell just the top or maybe the bottoms on the top. Nearly finished. So I've got this dress from Hachu. I got gifted this. I posted a picture of me in it here. I've dressed it with a big chunky black belt and my big chunky boots and some sunnies. A yellow and mustard printed milkmaid dress. So that's exactly what it is. It's got a nice milkmaid. It's this like orange kind of dot print thing on it and it's got the buttons down the front it's a nice thick 
slippy material which makes no sense kind of like a satin actually and this is one of the first like cutesy dresses that i've bought and i was like saw it on the website and i was like jesus why do i like that i was like that's not cool yet at all but then i got it and i wore it and i love it but i'm selling this one look out for that and then finally we have pretty little thing so i've got four things these were gifted to me first is this sage structured bodysuit with the zip this is amazing quality and i wore it with the bershka um skirt it comes in cream as well i'm pretty sure this in a size eight love for the seam um going down each side it kind of gives it that sporty like looks vibe next is this purple tie-dye mesh high neck top um this is in a size eight but it is kind of a bit baggy um i wore this under the top that i'll show you in a minute you can also match it with the bottoms that they've got online but i didn't get the bottoms i just got the top but i don't know tie-dye purple mesh very cute and i wore it underneath this um if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me wearing this all the time i literally wear it probably like three times a week because it's quite a little bit dirty so let's just ignore that but if you guys haven't watched space jam then you obviously weren't born in the 90s i paired it with that because the purple and the purple on here goes quite well together so i'll post a picture of this here i used to always want to be lola bunny look how cool she is there's taz but yeah it's charcoal love charcoal oversized so i wear it with cycling shorts black cycling shorts for the cute like i'd love to wear this with cycling shorts and my jordans like that would be such a sick outfit and then finally we have this dress so i thought it was dragons i put in my caption the japanese kanji writing because i'm trying to teach myself japanese for dragon turns out there's snakes so i look like a right idiot but it's just this nude yellowy color snake skin you should have realized that um with snakes and oriental writing um with the black piping seams down the bottom and this like little frill edging like detail if you can see eight it's bodycon really really cute um i obviously took a picture in it so here's the picture here and i don't know i really love it yeah that was everything so i really hope you enjoyed my haul as i said i'll leave my selling pages down below because some of this will be on it this is just some of the things that i've got majority i would say as well as my boohoo stuff i said i am trying to cut down on fast fashion um it's a process and it is something harder for me because i do love fashion a lot I hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like to like subscribe comment turn your post notifications on follow my socials and yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you guys soon.